Pilati and Margaret, and we've been living in vehicles all over the world since 2016. But in 2020, the pandemic halted our nomadic travels, mysterious new virus, and locked us down here in a small village of Czech Republic, where we started our e-bike business, renovated an abandoned junkyard building into our dream workshop, converted a lumber mill into our van build barn, and took on building three tiny home projects, our ultimate camper van, a container home, and the cabin in the woods. Oh yeah, and we got married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. We're in the final stages of these three build projects, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and catch the grand finale of each, plus some shenanigans along the way. Everybody ready? We're thinking about putting like wooden boards up against here, something like a melamine, maybe even with some cape flex between the two. Not only will that add like a nice wooden texture, but it will also be an extra layer of insulation. You can feel in here that this room is a little bit colder than the next, just because it has that metal exterior. So here is the first board example covering up all of this red. This is actually kind of a trick that we learned from Airbnbs and from traveling. The beauty of having a dark nook to sleep in. And it's something that we applied to the van and we're trying to apply here in the container home as well. The line here that you can see is where the bed is gonna be. We're gonna have storage underneath the bed and then this side and this side is gonna be gray. Container is now in a stage that we finished all the bulk building. So now normally the rest would be up to me. Making panels, making furniture and that means stopping the cabin, stopping the van once again and finish the container. We're kind of over this. Expanding our team is the only way we see now. Pavel was the first trooper learning the battery building and bike building and he is now better than me. Kavi is now the second tier. He's a great builder and now I'm investing time to teach him proper cabinet making skills. First lesson is this panel saw and I want him to master it. I'm working with him as a helper to keep an eye on him, give him tips and tricks and making him comfortable on this awesome machine. I think this panel is as complicated as, as it can be. I don't think there is anything more complicated we can have around this. Nothing is straight in a container because it, we don't start straight. And now we have it oversized. We need to measure to the window here. Mark it here, take a level, do a straight line, cut it to that line. Then do the insulation from the back because we're gluing it, we can't attach to this. We're just doing a rounded pieces of wood. We mammoth glue to this panel and to the wall because we don't want to be mammoth gluing straight on a K-Flex from the other side. Now we need to measure mark from the other side where the hole for the fan is to get the air out. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna router in from the other side of this panel, uh, three phase wire for AC fan. The last remaining details, like little gaps here, it's all gonna be acrylic and we're gonna do a neat little silicone joint there. I think it's, it's gonna be good. This is the back of the panel. We just glue the K-Flex and we're punching holes and then gluing in like a rounded wood spacers. We're manually edging thicker edge plastic ABS edge here. And we're, we're scribing that edge to the wall because the whole wall is bowed like this, 10 millimeters this much. This is 
Tsilina from a prehistoric, pre-aged times. Very primitive and basic tool. Still has a use in modern times. You can see how the whole thing <coughs> is like wavy. Such an absurd amount of back and forth, it's unreal. But yeah, we only have a small dual core wire for a probably 12, 24 volt fan. And I'm thinking this needs something stronger. I think I'm gonna go to uh, 230 fan, proper heavy duty fan for like bathrooms and stuff. So if you want it, we can really crank it up and clean the air. Like when somebody farts. So we're cutting a groove and gluing this wire in. Extra three piece. <laughs> the best glue in the world! The best day of the year! Mammoth. Use mammoth or be loser. Treat yourself. <laughs> now what do we do? That I'm wedging it up and uh, and going hard against the ceiling to keep the installation gap at the bottom and hidden behind below the bed. Pretty good. <laughs> Dude, you don't need to be here for this, huh? Oh no, you don't! <laughs> oh no, no! <laughs> Alright, this is the tester. This is my skin tone, so you can tell I'm not overexposing the shot, just for show. We just moved the van outside, we're getting some water, we're testing the solar, and I want to show you how bright it actually is in here. I'm not going to change any of the settings. You can see all of the natural light coming down from here and the fan. Obviously a lot from the cab, the dash, and the side windows. Then we move to the back and you see that same illumination in the bedroom. So this is how it would look to us day to day because throughout the daytime you don't really need to use all of your lights and such that's more for the evenings or the early mornings or rainy days but on average this is how our space will look. When we started building this camper van I think we knew right away that our style wasn't going to match that of everybody on the internet because we really wanted to do something that nobody else has done and cater it to our liking and be a little more experimental, colorful, modern and make it feel like when we park up somewhere gorgeous in nature that we're kind of in this futuristic tiny home that can bring us all over the world. It's like a spaceship. So, uh, continuing back from the previous video, one of the in the past, that we realized this is only 100 volts max and our output is like 106. And some of you recommend that I should just give it a go and, and uh, that should handle it in, with intolerances. But the reality is, these Victron uh, chargers and regulators are so smart that they see the over voltage and they don't allow. Uh, to be to be charged and they just tell me a notification that I should reconfigure my solar panels. That's pretty awesome. But sucks for us. Luckily we have this controller already purchased. 
it's not gonna be as nice because it doesn't fit here but this will do too <laughs> And it's kind of lucky that we have the time to test and live in it while we're here to work all of this out. So when we're traveling, our time isn't being sucked up by dealing with this sort of thing. And now we have like two of the most capable guys on our team. So Pavel and Kavi, we genuinely wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. I'm curious how the rear suspension and rear tires will handle that extra, what is it, 150 kilo? should do these vans are meant to be loaded i'm so glad we did it outside of the van it's so much better than having all that water inside i heard the sound <laughs> this week our main goal is mainly to supply kavi with material so he can keep working on a container the goal is so I can supply him with designs and measurements and material following weeks without us being involved. He has all the essential skills that I would require. He has a great attention to detail. He's thinking independently. He brings creative solutions and he's never afraid of trying new things. <laughs> These panels turned out to be amazing. It's gonna be a good insulated nook for sleeping. And let's move to the to the TV panel. Tying the wood from there to here as well. Normally I would maybe be making different choices is how the whole cabin goes, right? Mm -hmm. That we pretty much try to save time, not going to the city and pick and buy and bring it here, different materials, different designs. So we instead scavenge and be like, yeah, that's good enough on what we have and make the most of it. This looks like a comfortable sitting height. So I think we should have the center of the TV here. Working with like-minded people has always been really important for me, even when working in a companies. I know Kavi since I was a teenager. He's always been fair, he's always been a nice guy. When he expressed his bored of what he does, I immediately offered him that he can join our team. He lives on the same street, which is always nice, and it feels more like a family instead of a workplace. Radek is here with our nephew. Orange juice, smile, prosim. <laughs> I've been cooking, and uh, that's like a whole subculture of the internet: is people cooking in their vans. So maybe I should record what we cook every night. The game is always: what do we make out of what we have? Let's get some circulation in this ranch. Yeah. That was nice. That was like perfectly timed. Margaret, is that masking tape as a band-aid? Yes. When a kitchen is really big, I get so turned around and lost. Tiny homes are so efficient that way, and that's why I like them. Because anything that saves me time on tasks and chores and like, you know, 20 minutes to cook a meal like this wouldn't, it wouldn't be so fast in a bigger kitchen. Just one. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I don't think I really learned how to cook till like 23 or 24. And the only reason I learned was because of the tour leading job. Multiple times a week, it would be me just cooking for 26 people. And I completely lied on my resume. And, <laughs> and during the interview when they were like, Do you like to cook? Can I cook? Yes, love cooking. Nope. Hadn't cooked a day in my life. Cafeteria food all, all through college. If the clients complained about food, I'd be fired. So it was a big deal. I like that. Mm. It's just so nice cooking in here. I really don't feel limited space-wise. These are fun. Hello. Modern day couples don't all eat the same. Different humans, different preferences. Wow. Okay. 10 out of 10. Yeah? Thanks, bunny. That's nice. 
Look at the kitten, how she's looking. Mm. <laughs> I like we just have a massive workshop trash can in here. <laughs> We received a CNC laser cutter last week and this week we would like to progress a little bit. It's going to be probably around three to four weeks installation process and the most important thing at this phase is having progress every day step by step. So when we are available we work on it but most of the week Pavel was the single guy installing the head, installing the motors and aligning X and Y axes. We have a video guide and we have a present presentation instructions how to assemble the machine it's pretty slow progress because it's very precise machine and we want to make sure everything is done well it's incredible how it's friday 9 40 and i feel like i'm having my first 10 minutes of continuous work on my own project which is the base, the recliner for the van and it's, it's really difficult. I, I'm learning this as I go that in my position now dealing with multiple projects at the same time it's always needed that that one person that understands all of these projects. There's like a few minutes there make a decision that's a work for two in a container. Pavel in the meantime needs to make a decision and needs to put heads together and collaborate a little bit how to continue with the CNC. It's a phone call from delivery people, it's uh, messages to customers, it's intense. There is a very little time left for it. this one particular project. Oh. So we came to the realization that this would actually be so much cooler if there were armrests. So, adding armrests to the couch. That I think looks pretty awful. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> this in such a modern van, I think this would be ridiculously awful. At the beginning, I thought it's going to be only a bench with no uh, armrests, with none of that to just, I don't know, it's less comfortable. I have nowhere to put the arm, but for this layout, it seemed to be much more, much more open and friendly. We're running out of time for this week at a workshop anyways. We're slowly going to the cabin. So I think I'll keep this for the weekend to reconsider and I'm curious how you would solve this. Let us know in the comment section, we really appreciate all the feedback. And um, I guess next week we'll see. We're back at the cabin and I bought a few things and I'm gonna put them all together. And Lottie does not know about any of these or what they look like, so I'll be surprising him after everything is set and assembled. Feels good to be back here. I would say the chances of you hating it are 50 50. Mm -hmm. Look at it, I'm not even cheating. I can make it. Turn around. Turn around behind me. <laughs> I did not think you'd love it this much. I need to bring the kids and I'm just it out. <laughs> All my parents wish we had a crib here. <laughs> we might set up for more kids. I figured we're always gonna have some around, so we might as well. This week turned out to be much different than we originally thought. There is like mix of feelings, bit of a disappointment with not achieved as much, but it is so much more than we would wish for. Because training a new person 
is such a great investment for the future. It's so much fun to work together, seeing somebody grow and knowing it's becoming easier and easier for us. Past three years have been really, really intense for me, Margaret and Pavel. And now distributing the tasks between not three but four people is like blessing from heaven.